Well, this started out as a serious but limited contamination of some burger products. But the revelation we've had from Findus today has actually changed things. And from our perspective at the Food Standards Agency, enough is enough. And we're demanding that all manufacturers and all retailers test all of their processed beef products like lasagna, meatballs and burgers to make sure they are free from the things that shouldn't be there. And you've issued that diktat, what, this evening, and that work will have to start straight away? That will have to start straight away, and we require the industry to start submitting their results to us by the end of next week. This is a serious matter, and it is time that the industry took its responsibilities very seriously, which Findus have done in this case in well, re withdrawing be... their product from sale. Yeah, let's be absolutely clear. What is it you discovered about this range of Findus products? Can you explain the tests to us? Well, DNA tests are, are very sensitive, and they detect things within a, within a certain range. And within this case, the range that's been detected is between 60 and 100 per cent of the content being horse meat. Clearly, that's unacceptable. It shouldn't be there at all, and that's why we're taking the steps that we are. So, just to reiterate the point, because I think uh, there's, an, there's an element of incredulity about my coverage of this story, and I'm sure people listening in will find it almost unbelievable that this is the case. But in some instances, if a consumer had been to their local supermarket, bought one of these Finder's products, and uh, perhaps they've consumed it, perhaps they've put it in the freezer. But either way, there is no beef in it whatsoever. Well, what we know is the testing shows us that between 60 and 100 per cent of that content is horse meat. That's obviously unacceptable. And shoppers have got every right to expect that the food that they buy is exactly as it's described on the label. And this is totally unacceptable. And that's why we're asked, telling the industry they need to be testing all of their processed beef products and start submitting their results to us. What is it about your processes that have been so slack that have brought about this set of circumstances we're reporting tonight? Well, I wouldn't agree with that at all. We've been testing a wide range of products for a long period of time. As soon as we became aware of this particular contamination, we've been invest investigating a number of companies and a number of different organisations and taking tests. And what we're finding here are products that simply should not be present. And that's why we're taking the steps to make sure the industry takes its responsibilities very seriously. Because it's not just the question of whether people have consumed horse meat. That, as I think you've assured and other information's come through, isn't necessarily harmful to humans. What potentially is harmful to humans are drugs used in veterinary processes. And there's one particular one we've been learning about this evening known as bute or phenylbutazone. Uh, you've also found evidence of that in some of these products. No, that's not true. We've tested all of the products that have been seized so far for phenylbutazone, and they've been negative. So it's not true that it's been found. These particular products that have been withdrawn by Findus, we have requ required Findus to test them for phenylbutazone, and we are awaiting the results of those tests. So it's not true that these products have been tested positive for phenylbutazone. Our investigations so far have not found any food safety risk, but that doesn't mean we're complacent, and that's why these things are being properly tested. What do we know of this firm Comigel in France? Well, we're working with the French authorities at the moment. Comigel supply a number of companies uh, within Europe and within the UK, and we're following through that investigation now with the French authorities and with the companies involved to make sure that we identify any products that are contaminated. This is not just about the supermarket food chain, though, is it? Um, is it right to suppose that some of these products or some of the so-called beef products coming from this firm, perhaps processed or passed through the Findus factory, have made their way to school canteens or to hospital restaurants? I think it would be wrong for me to speculate on that at this point in time. What's really important is that we investigate thoroughly exactly where the products from Comigel have gone to and where they are now and identify them and make sure they don't pose either a risk to consumers or don't mislead consumers. And that's the work that we're actively engaged in at the moment with our enforcement partners. And how quickly do you hope to be able to reassure everybody they can go out and buy a beef lasagna again? Well, that work is ongoing at the moment. As I've said, we require all of industry's bodies to test all of their products and begin submitting their results to us next week. So far, our, our investigations have not identified any food safety risk, but we are not complacent. It's important that we keep testing these products and industry makes sure that when shoppers buy something, it is exactly what it says on the label. Let me just ask you about the worst case scenario here. We talked about the fact that, we, well, we know some of these products contain horse meat. We mentioned these uh, veterinary drugs. You say there's no evidence of that at this stage. 
it's possible, isn't it, in this new round of testing which you have instructed everybody to get on with as of tonight, that evidence of these drugs will emerge, they would be dangerous to human health, right? Well, phenylbutazone is a, is a very commonly used veterinary medicine. Um, there is no safe level for phenylbutazone. However, the chance of somebody falling ill is very rare, but we cannot rule it out. That's why it's not allowed in the food chain. So we will be testing all of these products for phenylbutazone and making sure it's not present. We do expect that businesses have made sure that none of their products have this in them. So it would be wrong to speculate on what we might find, but we are taking steps to make sure that none of this is getting through to consumers. All right, and just finally, anybody who thinks they might have bought one of these things, what should they do with them? Well, we're advising consumers at the moment not to eat this particular product. We have required extra tests from Findus to eliminate any risk, that any chance that there is a food safety risk. So I would tell them not to eat it and to return it to the place they bought it from.